Hi and welcome to another Archery Blog video. Today we're going to have a look at the new version um, of the Arrows app. Now I did a video on the Arrows app on the first version a few months ago uh, basically because I just wanted to show you how useful it was. But what actually happened over time was that as new Arrows come out and lots of companies release new Arrows and retire old ones um, the database of the original Arrows uh, app sort of got a bit outdated and there weren't new arrow listed new arrows listed on it its usefulness became a bit uh, degraded really uh, although obviously it did include all the classic arrows like the eastern xx75 platinum pluses the aces accs x10s etc so it still had uh, some use if you were looking at purchasing those sort of arrows but it didn't have a massive list of arrows in it and i just happened to be updating my apps on my phone the other day and I noticed that Arrows had an update that I could install. So I installed it straight away, had a quick look at it, and I've decided to do a video on it today. So here we go. Let's have a look at the new version. So this differs uh, quite a bit uh, in the way it's been remade. The original Arrows app had uh, ads, adverts uh, on it, and that's obviously how um, they made a little bit of income through it. But obviously that model probably wasn't working for them. So in this version, they've actually gone for a subscription based model. Uh, that means that this free version, which I'm going to show you first, then I'm going to show you the paid version. Uh, the free version doesn't include many uh, arrow brands or arrows themselves. Uh, so it's a little bit limited in your choices. But what they are wanting you to do is to upgrade. Uh, it's not a massive amount of money per year. The subscription is around two pounds to English pounds. So probably two dollars as well to actually have full access. Um, and they say they're going to keep the lists and the arrows up to date now. And I can see that a fair bit of work has gone into this as well. So I don't think two uh, two dollars, two pounds is too much to pay so if you're going to use it. That is, of course. So when you fire it up, this is what your screen you come into. You come into the brands of the arrows now you can turn these on and off if you don't want to if there's definitely a manufacturer who you're not going to work with or whose arrows you don't normally use and it says at the bottom this is the free version upgrade to get all the modern arrow shafts so if you click on uh, one of these brands it will then show you all of the arrows that are listed under that brand So here on the free version, you can see that they've included the um, the Jazz, the Carbon One, Flash and Red Line and Full Bore from Eastern um, as defaults. But obviously they've not included a lot of the other arrows from Eastern because it's the free version. If we go to Carbon Express, then they've only included two, um, the Predator and the Nano 166. If I left click on here, this is where the important stuff is. Obviously, I can see the brands and the shafts of the arrows and the best options um, for my spine. So what you want to go to first is you want to calculate the spine. You want to click on bow setup. Now, this screen has changed. It used to be um, just a way where you could enter two couple of fields for recurves in this instance, the draw length and the draw weight. But what they've done this time is they've actually done like a, a slider, which is nice. Graphically, it's very nice. Um, but it's quite difficult to get it specific and I can't type in what I want so I've got to be a bit slow with it okay so that's for recurve and then what I'm going to do is it's given me my spine value click on that and it'll give me a list of arrows to that it recommends to purchase for my draw length and draw weight so you just enter those two values if you click across to the compound version you obviously get the compound image on there and this time the draw length comes across from whatever you set between the two recurve and compound so the draw length will change if you changed it in one it will move to the other and vice versa and peak weight obviously you can change on here you can measure your peak weight of your compound bow get that to 37 and then you've got your ATA speed rating there, which I've set it to 312. And then again, you'll get your spine value. So three options in this one and two options in the recurve. 
So once you've done that, you can then click on find your best matching shafts. So if we do that, then we will get a color coded background to show us um, what our most recommended spines are. I think I've already got a short list because I've already filtered this out. So I'm just going to reapply that to get them all in. Now don't forget this is a free version, so it's not showing me a massive list. So the green ones at the top for the spine value, and then they go down to kind of amber, and then they go to uh, red. I think if you get right to the bottom, there you go. There's some red ones. So let's go back up to the top and choose this um, cartel expert. So I click on that, then we get some more details about the arrow. So we've got all images for the arrows. Um, we get to know the spine and the name of it up here. We get to know what it's made of. This one's carbon aluminium. And then we get some icons in here. So there's an icon there of a, an animal or a 3D animal field target. And it doesn't really tell you what these targets are for, but I think we, what it's trying to denote is um, obviously a target archery, but with a, a smaller diameter on these, I think, and then probably a larger diameter maybe um, for the smaller targets. I don't know, really. It doesn't sort of tell me if I hover over them, unfortunately, but it gives you information about the uh, arrow. And then if you click on details, it will show you then uh, all of the various spines that are available. Um, and obviously the red ones are the ones we don't want. And it's showing me that green is the best for my spine. And it's giving me a few details, grains per inch, etc. And then the FOC is quite interesting because that will give you, um, you can set that up and it will give you the details by, you can change your point weights, um, the weights in grains of your knocks. And if you know the weights of your veins as well, uh, even your wrap weight as well, if you've got wraps on your arrows and all, you can move all these as well. So you can change all your, it'll, give, it'll work out the FOC for you in a percentage front of center. And then finally on here, energy, uh, we've got various uh, settings for the arrow weight in total and the velocity. You can set the speed and it will give you your energy in foot pounds. And it will then sort of tell you whether what sort of thing you can go for medium, large, etc., big game, that sort of thing. So that's quite interesting as well even though I don't do hunting, so I don't kind of know much about this aspect of it. I'm more target archery. So that's the kind of details you'll get. If we just go back, I just wanted to show you this filter quickly. So we can filter as well, depending on how much data and how many arrows it comes back with. So if I'm after a big diameter arrow or a smaller one, or if I'm interested in not having carbon total carbon arrows then it won't show me full carbon arrows in there so that's quite nice as well or if I only want carbon full carbon arrows what we want to do now is let's look at the paid version and see what you get right so I've just gone through the um, upgrade process in Google Play and this is the upgraded version you can probably tell because it's got no upgrade button on the bottom so this is the full list at the moment of all the manufacturers. RL, uh, Beeman, Black Eagle, Carbon Express, Carbon Tech, Cartel, Eastern, Fivix, Gold Tip, Skylon Archery and Victory Archery. So if we go into the Eastern one, and now you can see that we've got the ACCs and etc. have now appeared. Um, they tell you if they're parallel shafts or not. Uh, carbon aluminium and then you'll see this sort of dollar sign here I think denoting how much they cost <laughs> ACs have more dollars than the ACs have more dollar signs than the ACCs of course um, yeah so we've uh, got a lot more arrows in here now fat boys no they're not sold anymore what else we got I wonder if the triumphs are in here Pro comp. Triumphs in here as well. Good for everything. Even though they're not made anymore, but I do shoot those. Yeah, so there's quite a good list in here of um, all the different arrows. 
X675 Platinum Plus they also use. There you go, so that's pretty good. All those are in there. So now if I go back to my um, bow setup, which I'd set previously, and then now find the best matching arrows, we should get a lot more answers, a lot more results. We're on full carbon, but if I kind of turn that off, I'll let everything come in. I've got ACEs, ACC. So if I click on the um, ACE, we get the details. So really, that's it um, when it comes to the new version of Arrows. Give it a go, see what you think. I really liked it in version one. Uh, obviously, it's not free anymore. Um, it is a couple of pounds a year, but I don't think that's too much uh, to pay really for it. Uh, I've obviously spent a lot of time adding all the graphics in and things for all the different arrows and all the information, which could take quite a while if you could imagine doing that yourself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a like. And uh, if you enjoy archery videos in general, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. See you soon.